Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are inside of everything. <laughs> um, but today I'm going to show you how to bring your Minecraft Xbox Worlds over to Windows 10 Edition. So what you're going to need for this is a USD, is that the name? Yes, USD. <laughs> and UFO transfer. UFO transfer is free. It's a free app on Xbox. That's all you need it for. So you go into here. You're then going to go up to this top corner with the settings. Click that. Click open in file explorer. Then you go back to packages. Then you find Minecraft, which is Microsoft.Minecraft UWP. Here we go. You click on that. App data. Nope, not app data. Local state games dot com Minecraft. Minecraft Worlds. So you pick any one of these. Now I'm going to go through try and find the one that I want. Which happens to be not that one. I'll be back in a second, maybe. Yeah, I'll be back in a second once I've found it. Tell you what, I'll just do this one. So, you want to go down to here. You're going to select this. You're then going to click this, which is to copy. Go over to your memory stick. Now I'm going to put mine in content. And I'm going to click paste. So mine's free AG. Just remember the first three. The, it's very unlikely that they'll be the same. But free AG. You're now going to. I'm now going to see you back upon normal. Yes, here we go. So I'm going to bring this over. That is my recording, so I don't want you to see that. <laughs> I'm going to take my memory stick out of my Xbox and plug it into my computer. Here we go. That's the sound of it going in. So Kingston is my name. And content. So free AG was it? Bring that to your desktop. It's the easiest thing to do. Now, you're going to load up Minecraft. So, once this is loaded up, as it almost has, here we go. So you're going to create a new world. You can set it to whatever you want. I'm just going to uncheck everything. Literally everything. Um, I recommend taking, taking multiplayer off and setting it to creative unless you're transferring a survival world over then set it to survival so you then write whatever you want in I'm going to call mine tutorial so you're going to create this world and once this is loaded up you just want to place one block in anything you want or you could break a block it's broken good so now save and quit then once that's done I'm gonna close down Minecraft you can go over to local users user app data local packages Minecraft Microsoft dot Minecraft UWP which is here local state games dot com Minecraft and then it's in here. Now you want to find the one, it takes a while, possibly. So I recommend just trying to remember which ones weren't there. I think it could be this one. Nope. This one's new. No, it's not. <laughs> this could take a while. 
not that one. Is this one maybe? No. <laughs> this could take a while, as I said multiple times. I recommend pausing and then coming back once you've found it. It's not that one. I know for a fact it's not that one. Not that. I've already tried this. Sometimes you can tell just by clicking on it. Just how much stuff's in it. But not necessarily. <sighs> Is it the bottom one? No, it's not the bottom one. I've just clicked the icon accidentally, but I know for a fact that's not it. Maybe this one? <sighs> it's not that one, that's the one that I did earlier. Yes, here we go. So you want to keep this one open. Then you also want to l open up this one. So, in here, you want to copy the DB, go into here and paste that in. Wrong one. Then click copy. So, control C that, control V it in here. So that's been copied, as you can tell by the numbers. So then back onto this, you got the lev level data which you want to copy both of these but before you do you want to open up the level data of the other one or the one that you're trying to copy over and the uh, one that you're not copying over I don't want to do that uh. so one important thing is copying this line right here which is confirmed platform locked content and just click space once and paste that in the rest should just be the same I'm not too sure about this one unfortunately so because I've had to do this multiple times so for the level data just drag that in and then level data old I recommend just copying this so copy and then paste again so then you want to rename that to level data underscore old So you want to delete the old one, then finally rename it. So this should work just fine. So now you're going to load up Minecraft. There's a chance of it crashing. But I kind of hope it doesn't. And here we go. There is your Minecraft world. Upon Windows 10 from your Xbox. So I'm quite surprised this actually worked this time, first try. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video I or for YouTubers make. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I never usually say that, but make sure to do it. Because I do quite a few tutorials now, because I've been looking into the source code of Minecraft quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. And now there's animals spawning, but goodbye. Hold on a second.